Okay, Doug, we're going to look at the uh, TYT380. Uh, the buttons you're going to be interested in, these ones along the top here. Uh, you got green, which means you go into the mode, and red goes out and up and down. So what we'll do is we'll turn the power on to start with, and mine's going to come up with a different screen than what yours is, because it's got the firmware on it. Okay, so when you've uh, put the hack firmware in, which I will show you how to do that, we are interested in going into the menus. Now, once we've hacked the firmware, you need to press the green button, press the up arrow, press the green button, press the up arrow, which takes you to, the, what it does, it takes you down to the bottom, saves you going all the way down. So you press the up arrow. So if I go back all the way out, if I go back into it again, look, uh, you can either go all the way down to the bottom to get to utilities or you press the green button, you go press the up arrow because it goes all the way around and goes to the bottom. So start from scratch again. So we press the green button, press the up arrow, it takes your utilities. We want to go into that, so we press the green button and we want to go down to the bottom, so we press the up arrow, which takes us to the 380 tools with a Z, which is Ty Weaver's program. So we want to go into that, so we press the green button. Right, we don't bother with the Roger bleep. We don't bother with the boot option, because they're all okay. We want to be going down to option number three. So you move the up and down arrows to number three. Press the green button. You want to scroll up or down. You've got all these different things on here, so you want to go down. We want to be going to that one. At last heard and name plus TG. Press the green button. Takes you back out. We want to go down to option number four. Press the green button. Select talk aliases and use a DB. Press the green button. Press the down arrow to go to option number five. We want to go into the talk group display, so you press the green button. Select numbers only. Press the green button. Say confirm. Green button means you're confirming it. Down to number six. We miss six. We don't want to worry about promiscuous mode. Uh, edit DMR ID, don't be worrying about that yet. Eight, yep, yeah, we're going to that one, so press the green button. And you want to be selecting horizontal. You can have the other ones, but it don't look very nice. Horizontal, horizontal will do. I'll show you what it does in a second. Down to number nine, mic gain. Press the green button. Select number three, uh, three dB gain. That's about the best one, so you press the green button to select it. Go down to audio level, press the green button, select auto. That makes sure that everybody's radio audio roughly sounds about the same instead of having some that are really loud and some that are really quiet. Side buttons, don't mess with them. Don't mess with config. Backlight, right, this is the one you gotta be careful with. Press the green button. We wanna select the first one, so you press the green button. Do not select zero, because that will turn the display off and you can't see it. So if you want to make sure you want to select number one, press the green button. Go down to the high level, press the green button. Select three or four, I select number three. It's when somebody keys up, it makes the screen brighter. And then uh, go down to option number three, backlight timer, how long it stays on for. Uh, I select five seconds, so it doesn't make the battery uh, drain so quick. You can have 30 seconds if you want, Doug, but that's up to you. Uh, I select five seconds. You can see, look, after so many seconds, the screen will go dark. There you go, it's gone dark. Uh, so we want to go back on that one. Right, down to Morse code. You don't worry about that one. Copy override. Green button. You want to be selecting call sign and DMR ID. Green button to select it. That jump back out. Down the down button. Netmon. Green button. Select enable. Green button to select it. That one. Alter colors. I leave as disabled. Leave that as disabled. And what will happen is when you go out you will get this display and it will take off all the other ones. So as you can see at the moment, if I move it to my UK cluster one, when I press the PTT, 
Or what Ty Weaver's done, he's got rid of the stupid mm, some volume control that goes across, it's all sort of delayed, he's got rid of that, so we don't need it, you got a volume knob on there, you don't need to see a stupid bar graph going across there, so Ty got rid of it, but what he's done, he's put a mic gain on, so look, I'm going to key up on mine, 2E0, XVX, 2E0, XVX, we selected horizontal, so there you go, Doug, it's showing the horizontal uh, mic gain on there. Uh, so that's what that does. Do you remember I said we'll come back to that? Well, that's what that does. It shows the uh, DMR on there. But you get the talk group, 23595. It's got the name of the channel. So if we go through to, say, USA Wide. No, let's go through to TAC310. That's the American chat room. So if I just press it for a second. Let go. There you go. There'll be loads of people keen up on there because it's a busy talk group on that one, Doug. Uh, W5IOG uh, was on there. Uh, now, when you see them flashing up like that, it's people like I've just done linking into the talk group. ADHGUI, Dayton, Ohio. See if somebody comes back. GUI, Dayton, Ohio. This is NWQ. November Whiskey 3 Quebec stand in Port Charlotte, Florida. What you can you see doing? when you've got the hack firm where you get all the person's call sign come up on there. And uh, uh, I didn't quite, it was Port something in Florida, but uh, yeah, you're doing great. That's amazing. Uh, my son lives down there. He's a ham also. But uh, yeah, uh, you're sounding real well. As I said, I'm mm. just playing on a new radio here trying to get this all figured out. Uh, I've just had it a couple of days, but uh, uh, trying it up and sitting outside right now. Go ahead. Okay, yes, we have uh, some visitors here who are interested in uh, ham radio in general. And uh, she just said, if you get on the radio now, would uh, somebody talk to you? And, uh, well, you never know. Let's see. Back to you. you hear that sort of uh, 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 they got some poor audio uh, but <laughs> okay. internet uh, I assume that they're probably not hams uh, they they probably have no concept of uh, uh, how this thing works but uh, anyway yep uh, tell your friends there I am up in Dayton Ohio and, there you go uh, Doug anyway that's right an now. insight onto DMR I shall say some threes and uh, look forward to seeing you on the radio with your TYT I will talk to you uh, about these buttons a bit nearer the time because we will need to be pressing the top one and the PTT together while you turn the radio on and it makes that light flash red, green, red, green. That will put it into firmware flash mode. So we'll talk about that a bit nearer the time. Okay, some threes. Catch you later on. Enjoy.